you know, I'm so damn proud of myself. It's unbelievable, man. But I want to thank all of you for contributing to me being proud of myself. I didn't know that knowledge was so needed. Now, I'm somebody who tries to learn at least one thing new a day. I seek out knowledge daily. At least learn one thing I did not know. Even if I knew about it, but didn't know maybe this part of it, one new thing every day. But I didn't think everybody was about stuff like that. I know people exist like that. So I'm just uh, very happy that I'm getting the responses I'm getting with this knowledge series that's going on and learning new things. All right. And so with that being said, I made a show today. I made a show for today, I should say, um, to yeah. basically yeah. address some comments. Yeah. Address some comments. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. You're right to a degree, you know. I have to be I had to be very careful when I had put out the uh post that had anything to do with this because uh, school itself is bullshit, but education is not bullshit. So, you know, if I were to apply that to what you just said, then that would mean that Dr. Umar's school would be bullshit too. You understand what I mean? But it's the education, it's the things that you learn about, things that make sense to you. You understand what I'm saying? But I dig what you're saying. I dig what you're saying. And I remember that growing up, they used to teach about slavery. I don't know if they still doing that, but that was all that we had was slavery and black history month. You know what I mean? And let's not make it a black and white thing, you know, because you're not learning about Latin, Latino history or Asian history unless they're, unless it's like, you know, savage, savage stuff, you know? Next. Unleash the crack. Now, here, you have to be careful with this one, okay? Because in a sense, now I remember years ago, my ex-wife wanted to homeschool our kids. <clears throat> and this is because at one point, we didn't want our kids standing up for the national anthem. And um, one teacher actually said, well, we celebrate black history. Boy, she flipped out. She was ready to do some homeschooling with the kids. But then when she did the research and saw, you know, the time that it was going to take and all of that, then she kind of didn't want to do it. But that's not the point that I'm trying to make. Understand that when you do homeschooling, you're still going to fall under the same system because in order for you to be accredited or to be taken seriously in case they want to go on to college, you still have to follow the same format that schools are teaching. Now, it's up to you to blend things in, in, in and out of that, you know, but still... You still have to follow that curriculum. Just pay attention to that. Just be aware of that. All right? Be careful of that. Next. Unleash the crack. Unleash the crack. Unleash the crack. <laughs> Someone does have to train. I don't know. Were you trying to say automations or what did you mean automaton? I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't look that up to see if that was actually a word. Nah, I was I, I, like, I feel like I should, but anyway, let me address the second one. So yeah, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. As far as, you know, you, you thought it was one thing, but it was something else. That's America. That's what I'm showing you right now. That's what America is. Uh, even if you look at that video, This is America by Donald Glover, same thing. He's showing you there are lies. There's layers of lying and, and, and just so much, so much that's like, and it's right here. That's what's so funny. It's hidden right in front of your face, you know? And sometimes it takes somebody to take in condition or break that condition, at least expose that you've been conditioned. And then again, it's up to you to do what you want because it depends on how conditioned you are. There's some people that are probably watching this right now thinking, well, this, the fuck is this guy talking all this bullshit? Then there's some people that are actually taking this seriously. 
who are sharing my posts and wanting other people to understand the, the knowledge as well. All right. But uh, that's what America is about. That's what the world is about. America, it just I, I say America because I'm here, but that's what the world is about. It's just a bunch of lies. And we live in this lie. And the people who know the secrets survive. And I'm just trying to help you survive. Next. Unleash the crackle. Unleash the crackle. Now, that was the comment that I needed. Now, I needed all comments, don't get me wrong, but that was a comment from an educator. And I like that, I like that comment because essentially, one thing I do need to point out is that um, the person who responded to that is a college professor, all right? Colleges are not government mandated, all right? You still have to pay for that school. The schools are raising money so they can exist. Maybe they get government grants. I do not know. I don't know the system that well. But maybe they get government grants. But for the most part, <laughs> as we see with the scandal that's going on, people are paying, paying these schools a lot of money. Unleash the Let me make a real quick point. Um, I have a friend. I won't say he's a friend, man, because he was a real dickhead in school. But anyway, he had made a point. And he said, if you take the word university and you turn it backwards, it is revenue. You like that? But going back to the point. So in his case, he's teaching the curriculum that the school is putting out there. All right. And to some degree, yes, it's following the Prussian because that's what that system is supposed to be called. He's following that system. OK. Uh, but colleges have they play by a different rule. Private schools play by a different rule. I was in public school until I got into high school. Once I got in high school and it was a uh, private school when we had to raise money and all that stuff, the freedoms that we had and the things that we were doing that people weren't doing in public school. That's when I learned the difference between the two. All right. But either way, thank you. I needed an educator to step in on this conversation because I was trying to smoke y'all out of that little beehive. You dig? Next. Unleash the Aunt Esther. What did you say, nigga? <laughs> And Noah? Oh. Fuck off. <laughs> Yo, D. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. Fair enough, X. Next. Unleash the crack. Unleash the crack. Unleash the crack. Hey, 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 hey. Yep. Yes, indeed. And like I said, if anybody wants a copy of that book, DM me. I'll tell you how you can get it. All right. Yes. This book that I'm reading is intense. You might want to dig on it, man. Nice little quick read. It's 97 pages, but it's chock full of so much information. You think it was 300 pages. Next. Unleash the crap. Unleash the crap. Unleash the crack. 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 Unleash
Now, this was an important comment because it coincides with what I've been teaching you. And it's interesting that it's Christian principles versus Jewish principles, okay? But let's, let's look at what he said again. Once you put interest on a dollar, there are not enough dollars in circulation to cover the interest. So you have to keep making dollars to cover the interest. It's circular in nation and built on a house of cards. Now, here's why that's important. Because when money was backed by gold and put in the banks, and the banks were writing promissory notes to, to the gold, there became a time where there wasn't enough money to back the gold. And I forgot how that was, why that was. So then they changed the money to fiat money so that uh, essentially they do, that principle applies to what's going on now. There's so much interest on this concept that inflation is something that continues to happen. But inflation is for the sake of keeping money circulating, if that makes sense. So that principle being an old principle is what's actually happening right now, if that makes sense. Whew. I'll tell you, this is heavy, man. I didn't expect to go over 10 minutes with this, but hey, if you got to, you got to. I was going to break it up, but then I said, nah, let me just make it one continuous show. I think there's enough information and this is flowing well enough to continue to keep on talking. So that's why I did that. But I want to thank y'all for commenting on this, man, because that's the kind of stuff that I, that that I thrive on with the show. This is why I do the show. You understand? Those are one of the reasons I do the show. Uh, so I'm at work. I'm writing these things, I'm reading. You, you just don't understand that the work that it takes, because I'm a one-man show with this, the work that it takes to make this thing happen, man. And I'm now enjoying not that I never did and not that I wasn't, but I'm completely enjoying what I'm doing for you now. I love this research that goes on. I love the book that I'm reading. And I love the fact that some of you are sharing. Big shout to all of y'all that are sharing. You don't believe me? Check it out. An invariable rule of humanity is that man is his own worst enemy. Under me, this rule will change, for I will restrain man. To help carry on our important work, I want you to join the secret squadron. 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 Yeah, man. So I'm also gonna be coming out with some shirts and stuff soon. I gotta get this merchandise up. Gotta start getting paid on this here. You understand what I'm saying? So let me show you a few of the projects that I'm working on. Let me know if you're interested. They're gonna come out, but it would be also good to know if you're interested. What size are you? What shirt color do you like? Let's talk. So I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, man. I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for constantly commenting. Still got some more stuff going on. Got a show going on tomorrow. A little bit more tame than what's been going on. Just going to take, kind of take a break a little bit. And then we're going to jump right back in full force. I'm also thinking of having a watch party on Sunday. I'm thinking I'm going to do that. I'm still in the thoughts of it. But uh, if you get an invite... As far as an in, in uh, an invite to an event, which would be my watch party for Sunday, uh, that's what that's going to be about. Basically, what I'm thinking is I'll go ahead and play some videos. We can go ahead and comment and talk and talk a little crazy. Never done a watch party. Just watched a few of them, but never really done one. So I just want to see what that's about, see who's down. All right. And I'll try to take into consideration that uh, there are people on the East Coast that are more... I have more viewers on the East Coast than I have on the West Coast or even in the Midwest. So I will try to adjust it so that it makes sense for all. All right. Y'all be good, man. Love y'all, man. Word. Later. This concludes the broadcast concludes from the broadcast. World Control. Yeah, well, let's pretend like this never happened.